What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on the TapTap -Tap server. We're going to do a couple things here because a lot of people still have questions about the Soul Temple. Every time I try to jump into this, I try to be a little bit more clear. What we're going to do is we're literally just going to trash all of our hero copies. We really don't care about this account, so if we're destroying hero copies, you know, it's fine. We just want to get these contract star diamonds back because there's a few things... I want to show you guys here today. Number one is going to be how to actually modify these roles you get because you can't straight up modify certain abilities, but other things you can. So we're just going to trash all of these copies right here. Uh, we'll probably even unlock the few that we have locked on here. I think is they're still locked. Uh oh, I think we might have lagged up. Sometimes the tap tap servers are a little laggy. Uh, if it crashes here. We'll be back. Nope, it recovered. Cool. So let's just keep destroying them. We're getting more summons too as part of it. Kind of want to do more summons. I don't care if we're pruning all the good heroes off this account at this point. Really does not matter. So let's keep going. Let's get rid of the Ithaqua. Let's get rid of all these Sherlock copies. These ones are going to be better quality too. So they're going to be giving us more back. We can do a few more spins, which will be fun. Ooh, that Aspen gave us 70. And this one right here gives us 150. So let's get rid of those two carries. And uh, you're locked. You're locked. And you're locked. Yeah, let's just trash all of them. We're just, we, we destroy this account, guys, for your information and knowledge. So let's get rid of these, these, and this. Now, the main takeaway from today is going to be the store. So if you come into the Star Diamond Tesco, or if you go over to the place chamber of commerce you get the store here this one's a little bit easier to look through uh we're going to be talking about these soul hammers these soul hammers say a hammer that shakes the soul which can be used to refine the awakening quality of heroes so let's buy one of these guys you can get up to 25 of them we're using the diamonds we got the hammer it is now in our inventory right there so we got the soul hammer it's good to go how do we use these well if we come back into the soul temple let's pick probably say our russell we have this hero copy here you can't really do anything from this menu here you're kind of just stuck you can click this and there's a couple a little bit of extra information we're going to go over later on but if you come into here you come into the hero and you click on this icon right here you get to go to Awakening Replacement or Soul Awakening. Soul Awakening goes right to the temple, or you go over to Awakening uh, Replacement. This is where you get to see all the copies that you have in here. If you have additional ones in the backpack, you can pick which one you want to swap out, which is kind of cool. But what we really want to do is try to modify some of these extra properties here. What you can do is you can take your current properties with these hammers that you don't like, not the speed, the attack, the HP, not those, but the extra bonus properties, uh, and you can re-roll those. So you can literally come in here, you can hit purify, confirm. This is going to re-roll it to a different stat. It's essentially the same thing as re-rolling your stones, except now you get to re-roll these stats, because it would be the worst thing in the world if you somehow managed to hit that god tier A or S hero and then it gets like plus to healing done to self or something like stupid uh, so these can be re-rolled and you can purchase 20 of those hammers per month from the store right here so just make sure if you do get a good roll you want to keep but you don't like what you got you can purchase these now the other part we're going to jump into here today is the description of the properties because of course Based on the tier of properties that you roll for the overall hero, depends on how many of these affixes you can get. Starting out with D and C, of course, E, you don't get any. You can get yeah, a decent amount, armor, skill damage, precision block, armor break, holy damage, heal effect, all those fun stuff. So those are cool. Uh, those aren't really worrying. B, though, we start getting better ones like damage reduction control immunity reduces dots received there's a lot more effects but what we really want to look at is the a and s because this means your whole not just one role gets an a or an s but the whole character gets an a or s there's some stuff on here that are some funky uh funky names holy armor faction iron log giant slayer challenger don't know if those are just translation 
issues with the tap tap server because sometimes tap tap has some weird translations versus what comes to android ios and amazon uh but then you can see in the s tier you can get even more and you can get up to four of these or actually you get four of these on your roll uh so one thing i really want to do i want to try to summon for a better hero <laughs> I want to get a good copy. So let's actually go back. Let's finish out the Russell copies. Do some Soul Awakenings. Maybe we get that God tier roll. I'd love to get an A. A B would be cool too. So we got six more summons. Might as well do those while we're here. Let's see if we can get anything good. Purple, yellow, yellow. Not exactly what we want. That is DNC. It gets one extra property as you see there. And let's do the last Russell copy that we have right now. Can we high roll? Yellow, blue, blue. That's really bad because blue are those E's. Not great. So we're kind of done with that. Let's jump over and start awakening some of the penny copies. We have exactly 420. Kind of cool number. Uh, let's keep going. Let's just go a little further here. See if we can hit something good. Is feeling that's, that's a straight up E. Straight up E copy. All right, come on, come on. Give us something good. Give us something good. It's D. No purples at all. I feel like as you do more summons, like the quality of them just shoot lower and lower. <laughs> I feel like you should do like one a day and just stick with it. Because it seems like you get some like C rolls and everything on them. All right, the last one here. Let's see if we can hit anything good at all. Nope. It looks like it's going to be another E tier, sadly. So we're not going to worry about that. It is what it is. But what I do want to check out is the good copies that are over here. Now, the highest bid currently is 5,001, which is essentially $200 for a queen copy. You'll notice there are B tier, so they get two different rolls. You can use those hammers to re-roll, uh, I think individual properties, so you can like re-roll off the precision, I believe. I wish I had a copy that had multiple because then I would try re-rolling them. Uh, but yeah, I think overall, I don't think there's anybody higher than B right now. B minus B, B. I mean, this is the closest one to a potential A is this Holmes Young that we see here on the server. Uh, display period, there's only a couple. Yeah, it's really just that one. Like literally just the one that's, that's probably the closest we've seen to an actual A quality and it's still only a B. I mean, this one's pretty close to a B plus. Uh, everybody else is kind of low, so it's kind of crazy how this is going to work out. But let me know what you guys think. Today, I just wanted to make sure you guys understood what these hammers did and what they re-rolled because, well, there's been a lot of confusion on what they actually do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're still not going to get this just yet on Android and iOS. They're still testing it out. Might get it towards the end of this reset, and then we'll launch with us. We'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys next time.